Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through my makeup routine. This is just my everyday go-to look and even if I want less makeup or more makeup, it's really the same products because this is just what I have at college right now and I don't have my Alex 9 drawers here with me so these are my go-to products that I have honestly been using for a long time now and you guys can see all my favorites. Honestly, I'm just going to keep this intro short and simple. Let's go ahead and get started. All of my makeup is in this bag. The zipper is broken. It doesn't even close anymore. I'm in need of a new makeup bag. The first thing I do, which I've actually already have on because I'll put this on no matter if I'm putting makeup on or not, it's the Pixie on the Glow Bronze Tinted Moisture Stick. I have mine in the shade Rich Glow and I love this stuff so much. It just gives such a nice bronze before you put your makeup on. It and even if you're not wearing makeup that day, it just gives you a nice all over bronze. I've been using this concealer specifically for so many years now, probably since eighth grade. I literally have not switched it. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. I always have these on backup. It's what I go into the store for and I never stray away from it. It's the perfect amount of coverage. You can build it up. As you can tell, I put this everywhere because I kind of use it as a foundation too. I seriously don't even own a foundation because this is all I use. Would foundation change my life if I had it? Probably. I also lost my brush. I don't know if you guys saw my video yesterday, but I lost my brush for my concealer. So I'm using my fingers, but I don't usually do that. But also, Vlogmas is probably supposed to be more vlogs, but since finals are happening literally right now, it's harder for me to like film, edit, and post like a full day vlog in time. So I do have to kind of do some of these shorter form videos for now. But I am going home soon, so I'll be able to make more actual vlogs. But some of these days are going to be more short form. And I apologize for that. They're, they've been kind of short. Next. I was on the loose powder kick for a little bit. This gets the job done great. It's the Maybelline Fit Me powder. It is nice for on the go because it has a mirror and a sponge. Make sure to set my under eyes really well. Really all the places we put that concealer. And then I'll take this huge brush that I only use for my bronzer. Just get everywhere else. Next is bronzer. This is really where my face transforms. I use the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium. I think this is my second one of these, maybe third. One day I just got tired of buying the Hula bronzer because that's what I would use all the time. And so I was in Ulta once and I was like, I don't really want to spend $30 on my bronzer. I literally just Googled right then and there Hula bronzer dupes and I went to the first link and then this was the first one that showed up probably. I got this and I've been using it ever since. This one's like maybe six to $8 compared to 30. I'll just take this same bronzer and use as a little bit of eyeshadow too, just so everything is nice and cohesive. I just don't like how mascara looks on me when I don't have anything on my eyelids. I feel like this just kind of brings it all together. The thing about this routine is it might look like a lot, but once it's on, it's nice and natural. And then I can do this in less than 10 minutes. Next is blush. I use this Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio. I think I got this in my BoxyCharm a little bit ago. And at first I was like, I'm not gonna use these cause they're kind of shimmery. I decided that I wanted to change my blush up one day and I started using this. And as you can tell, it's well loved. So I mix this one and the very last one. It adds the right color of blush where it's natural but then it also kind of adds a little bit of glow after that we're going to tame these eyebrows i will say this is not my favorite eyebrow gel just because it doesn't really hold but it does put them into place to where they need to be for a little bit this is the pixie brow tamer my favorite eyebrow gel of all time is the anastasia eyebrow gel just the clear one the brow freeze is good too i actually have that in here it's basically gone at this point plus this is faster i just run this through my eyebrows it helps to go up and then down and then back up i just find that holds better than just going up since i'm a bit of a redhead my eyelashes are so light and it's so irritating because i don't mind my eyelashes you just can't see them unless i have mascara on i really want to get at some point a lash lift and tint because then i could just wear no makeup but then you'd still be able to see my eyelashes and all would be great because that's my main thing is just my eyelashes are non-existent so then my complexion's just off nonetheless this is my eyelash curler that i've had since fifth grade which is so crazy to say. I literally think this is the Walmart brand. I finally, finally replaced this pad in here because one of my friends used it and she was like, girl, there's no, like, it's not stopping anywhere because this pad is so worn out. So I finally changed it and it definitely helped. I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, this is the mascara I've been using. This is also just not my favorite, favorite mascara, but what I like about it is that it holds my curl all day if you guys know me you know i love the l'oreal lash paradise mascara that's because this one is more volumizing 
and it also kind of lengthens too but this one's super lengthening it keeps my eyelashes curled so if it can keep my eyelashes curled it wins because again my eyelashes are just so straight so even if i don't wear makeup that day i'm still gonna curl my eyelashes because then you can like sort of see them now this is probably the longest part of my routine just because i need to make sure my eyelashes are so curled Okay, I think that's good. I do about two coats of this. I try to really focus on the tips of my eyelashes just to get the maximum length. See, that just, that really helps. The mascara just does it for me. Mascara and bronzer are my two favorite makeup products. To complete the look, I do a little bit of highlighter. This is my favorite, favorite highlighter. It stopped being sold so long ago, and I'm sorry that I don't have one that you can really like buy, but there's some Ofra ones too that are awesome if you guys are looking for another option. But this is the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. I've had this for far too long. It's definitely way past its shelf life, but I, it's my favorite. So I do inner corners and brow bone, nose, and then high points in my cheeks. And Cupid's bow. So that is my makeup routine. If I want to take it up a notch, I will add a little tiny wing. So I'll do that for video's sake. I go in with my soft glam palette. And again, I've had this for far too long. This thing is destroyed. I never thought I'd get to this point because I used to be like the biggest beauty guru and like I'd make fun of my mom because she had the make same makeup routine and never changed her products but now I'm kind of to that point where I like I have what I like obviously I love getting new things and like changing it up because I still have that part of me but like when you know what you like and it works it works now the size and the intensity of this wing can change but I'm always gonna use the same brush and I'm always gonna use the same palette and shade. I never used to be a wing girl and then I started to be a wing girl and I have not gone back. But the shade I use in this palette is Cypress Umber. It's this dark brown shade and that just makes all the difference because black is just too much. It doesn't look right on me. That's the makeup look. I could use some Aquaphor. Um, one more thing that I love that I might as well show you guys in this video too is this Steve Laurent lip liner. It is so good. It's in this shade Chic. I got this in my BoxyCharm once too. It's amazing. If I'm going out or if I have something I'm going to, this is what I'm going to wear. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlogmas video today. Hope you're enjoying vlogmas in general. If you haven't seen the other videos, go check them out. The playlist will be up in the corner. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!